Hi guys, welcome back to Mojo Reviews and today we're gonna take a look at Endgame Captain America oh man this figure is great we've been waiting a long time for this guy uh, most of the time I keep my figures in a box but <laughs> I had to get this guy out of the box straight away I had to make some tweaks here and there I already fixed the boot so he has more uh, movement in the other legs I fixed the arms so they can hang straight and I fixed those flaps so it moves straighter but yeah overall this figure is great he comes with a lot but we also waited more than a year for this guy so let's take a look at the box art I move this guy to the back but yeah cap on the side throwing that punch on Thanos face uh, he comes with an extra wielding uh, his hammers three face sculpts a loose helmet Mm, two shields one broken so yeah looks great so yeah let's take a closer look at this guy let's move this also to the side I will go over all the extras in a moment he looks great it really looks like Chris Evans so they, they did a great job on that uh, sculpt wise it's awesome uh, it looks like this figure is always in motion or something. It really, it really has a lot, and uh, yeah, they did a great job. Too bad we had to wait so long, but it's all the delays, coronavirus and stuff. So it's with all the companies, so I cannot blame uh, Medicom for that. But overall, great piece, great figure. Articulation, awesome, and the look. I just really, yeah, this is Chris Evans, man. And the shield, it's really, really nice. They did a great job on the shield. It looks like uh, the new version with all the stripes inside, which Falcon will get. So that's awesome. And uh, new Mjolnir helmer, hammer. Jesus, new hammer of Mjolnir. But yeah, this is the. It looks a bit smaller than the ones. Uh, I had from the Nota Studio. I will grab it in a second, but the detail on this guys, it's amazing. I really like it. It fits well in the hand and uh, he can hold it. So it's, yeah, it stays in place. So that's great. And yeah, just looks like a really, really small hot toy. So here we have the broken shield. You can see all the damage, metal damage. It's really nice. I just wish they went a little bit darker on the edges so a little bit black wash or something but overall this thing is woof and this one comes also with an extra strap so you got a big one and a small one one you have to remove let me see it's this one uh, put a hand in here put it on a figure put this on the upper the lower hand and just swap it on and Oh man, this it looks great. Really, really great. They did a great job on this. It could have used the black wash, like I said. I might do it myself. Uh, just here and there, just small washes. A little bit more silver lining. But overall, they did a great job on this. Did not expect it to look this great. In hand, it looks really, really dope. Got the different colors of red. So let's take a close look at this one again. It's just even, but this, as you can see all the detail and stuff, they did a great job on this one. He also comes with this piece. It's like he's uh, flinging the hammer just to take off or something or hit Thanos in the face real hard. But it comes with a standard, which is, it's okay. It's translucent if you want to display him like this. Uh, it's, yeah, I like it. So he has more sta stability for, to hold the hammer and yeah you can see three are real Mjolnir's and the others are all translucent so you really get those effects and if you into stop motion you just have to just screen this around let it spin and as you can see it looks really like he's flinging Mjolnir so that's that's great effect just those three got it in I really like it so but it's too heavy for the figure to hold that's why you get this one so i wish they could have gave us an extra 
back or a hand or uh, from of the underarm let me show you guys if they made sure this was removable yeah, an extra piece with a hand that sculpted it on so it could actually hold this perfect but as the way they did it this just it's it won't help it just it's too heavy it's too heavy but if you can figure it out and just have them in cool pose and stuff it's okay so yeah let me show you guys if you want to lift it up just put it in the hand first so you can see what i mean you have the figure and you lift it up like this or have it in cool pose it just won't hold <laughs> that's really bad it's just too bad but if you have it in you gotta make sure this is stuck or something and or just have something underneath this for the effect or edit it out if you use a rig or something but otherwise this is uh, it won't it, it just won't hold too bad but that's why you get the display so it's like you can have them like this but then again it's you have to really figure it out a little bit but have them stand like this so yeah that's the only way for him to display this so you have to use uh, other standard or display if you want to move it around and stuff but it looks cool here we have the hammer a little closer look really nice detail Uner, really like it nice clean here we have the angry looking face and I understand uh, what they were trying to do it's really nice but if they made the eyes a little bit more squinier, a little bit more angry, I think uh, this would have looked great. Plus, if you added uh, a little bit of wash and blood and stuff, this will look really, really awesome. But I think Mavex will do a, a different variant. For the people that missed out on this one, they will do a battle damage version. So that's the... But yeah, but this one, it looks great. Could have been a little bit wash or a little bit depth so you can see it looks a bit more angrier but overall i really like it for the regular one here next to each other the regular one looks really 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 a lot like chris evans i really like it but then we got the normal face sculpt it looks really like chris evans also only thing that he did they use the fa same sculpt for the nose part on this face, but he's not wearing a mask. So you got the feeling that his nose is being pushed down, which makes the face sculpt a bit distorted because uh, you see, it's a bit too low here. If they fix the nose, uh, like he's not wearing a mask, it would have been great. Paint job, everything is awesome. And from a couple angles you really see it's uh, Chris Evans so you just gotta fix a way to shoot the head sculpts but I really dig it they keep improving so keep it on Mavex keep it on put the angry head sculpt on him and man this is with throwing shield effect this is great really really pops out I really like this he's easy to move around what you want to do with this figure is heat up the legs put a bit shock oil between the joints and overall I already fixed the legs so the boot can twist ankle can twist and uh, the these don't stick out anymore as they used to and the arms inside I already fixed it uh, I will put some pictures at the end on how to do that and uh, you can go to my instagram for more information on that but this just looks awesome and the way he throws the shield and stuff you can really feel he's about to throw that shit man this is bam. awesome yeah so let's go over all the accessories and the extra hands this just looks great man. so yeah he comes with closed fist which look nice and i really like these plastic things they put the bags on and stuff keep on coming Mavex because it really protects the joint the small ball joint back inside the underarm 
and this just it make sure that when you slide it on and off you will not break the pack so this is great keep it on keep it coming keep it coming uh, also open hands slash grappling hands one is in the shield so uh, yeah this is for Mjolnir for the shield straps uh, this one he has also right on this is the throwing shield effect slide this on underneath the shield and yeah that's it uh, open hands relaxed open hands a little bit crappy and these are just white hands yes one on right now and pointy fingers and let me see what was this this also grabbing hand maybe these are a little bit better for holding Mjolnir or trigger figures guns but cap doesn't use guns so let's see what which one works better for holding I might use this one for holding Mjolnir the trigger fingers he has a bit more grip and because this finger it stays between all the silver lines so it stays more put so he, it's it's stiffer so yeah I'm gonna keep this hand for Mjolnir nice here he is holding his shield with his normal face sculpt and holding his mask and I think this you can also display him like this I really like this just Steve Rogers chilling so yeah this this looks great I still think these two look great also and this is from Infinity War this mad one is okay but this this head sculpt is just awesome it's, it looks way more than Chris Evans I don't know why it is but it just is like looks way more like Chris Evans I don't know why but here he is with the Infinity War head sculpt and let me grab a couple guys for size comparison and here he is next to a couple Captain Americas we have him next to my custom Mafex Sam I did this with the Infinity War he's a bit taller that's because he has the Marvel Legends boots and stuff but it still can work out if you take the right angles for photos and here he is next to comic Captain America uh, this is also my custom that I made uh, this is the old school toy biz I close the joints, new head sculpt and stuff, repaint so yeah, these three together looks really dope and here he is with Peggy Carter this is from Marvel Legends, what if and next to each other, it can work out just a couple shots figure out the light and uh, I think these two make a great couple and here he is next to my custom Mayfax No Way Home Spider-Man and the new Marvel Legends Doctor Strange uh, Defender Strange I did a repaint on his face everything you can go to my IG but looks way better and the portal behind them but yeah really hyped for Doctor Strange too and I'm really hyped to see Chris Evans return as Cap when that will be I don't know but if Marvel has to choose between Robert Downey Jr. or Chris Evans I think they will go for the younger one and the cheaper one and that's Chris and I would love to see uh, evil Steve Rogers <laughs> Hydra cap uh, bring it let's go so here he is next to the SHF my custom repaint and yeah it's no competition anymore Mayfax blew this one away uh, really really much the movement the look everything goes to Mayfax for me so if anybody wants this guy send me a message and you will get this SHF for me for a nice price because uh, yeah this cap end game version is the definite look for me I understand if people really like the SHF version more uh, everybody has his own preference so that's no problem at all do your thing and uh, maybe it fits better with your collection with size comparison and stuff but let me put the Mavex cap next to him as you can see the look the skills everything the size it's just uh, yeah this Mavex killed it so if anybody wants this just let me know this shield was from Nolde Studio and this head sculpt also 
came with this one so I just want to see how this one looks next to the other pieces so for now we have this hammer this one's from Mayfax so he comes with this Mayfax and I like this one better than the Nota Studio but the Nota Studio came with a translucent piece if Mayfax did this this would have been awesome but the other hammer I will use this translucent piece so yeah that's okay and now we have to compare these two so yeah this one is feels heavier this one feels actually lighter and as you can see these are all Mjolnir's and these are just translucent so and the blue effect in the middle I actually like that but it's also bigger than the Mayfax one and yeah it's heavier bigger and this uh, the figure won't hold this <laughs> at all so <laughs> but uh, yeah uh, I can use both uh, I think this one is more realistic the Mayfax version and this one let me zoom out a bit so yeah this one's more realistic and this one is a bit comic-y but overall these are painted really nice though so yeah I can use both so whatever preference you like only this one is made for the other headset that comes with this guy so might have to switch it up don't know if the Mayfax can fit it but still great pieces now for the shields as you can see uh, the Mayfax one is uh, more realistic and the other one is a bit comic-y with all the um, black lines so let's focus as you can see this is a little bit more uh, this could have used the black wash and then it's fine but this is a little bit too dark but I actually like the battle damage with all the creases and stuff with this one more so Mitch and Max I will try this on this figure later but yeah the size is also different this is smaller than this one but you can mix and match and here's Kev with another studio shield it doesn't look that bad but yeah doesn't fit right well so I have to fix the straps and stuff but it can work out and here he is next to the big tree Cap Iron Man Thor I really like this uh, this is a little bit smaller but for endgame and stuff it might work I'm really hyped for the Mayfax version so yeah and the Mayfax version for Thor I might get it I'm more fan of this uh, Infinity War Thor because Infinity War was in my opinion better movie than Endgame overall but the end battle in Endgame was sick so yeah but this is just uh, it looks great and here we have him with T'Challa and this head sculpt is made by Yak Studios you can find them on Instagram their work is just amazing just look at this Yak Studio this head sculpt it is Chadwick Boseman but yeah here the end game on your left let's zoom in on Cap so yeah these two next to each other so here we have Captain America next to Black Panther and yeah these two next to each other look great and uh, Cap's just a slightly taller but I don't mind uh, but these two in Infinity War the combos they threw amazing I hope Wakanda Forever does great bring something new hope for Namor or Doctor Doom or something but yeah I hope they do Chadwick well this is the gauntlet from Mayfax this one comes with the uh, Iron Spider-Man the new version uh, but yeah what if cap snapped so yeah guys thanks for watching here is he finishing Thanos off with his uppercut hammer smash but yeah thanks for watching guys for more pictures and how I custom stuff go to my IG thanks for supporting this channel really hype for Doctor Strange thanks for watching guys see you guys later thanks guys job bless